loves, it's Ashley Sandrine. Welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, we're still in lockdown. So what we've been doing is we've been cooking a lot. And if you guys haven't seen my previous videos, I'll put them in the description box down below. But for today, we are making Maha Blanca because my mom really liked it when Atevik made it the other time. So Atevik is going to teach me how to do it today. And we also might make my favorite pasta, which is carbonara. So if you guys are interested, then please continue watching. <laughs> For our ingredients, we have coconut milk, water, white sugar, cornstarch, condensed milk, sweet corn, evaporated milk, and then cheese. But you have to make sure that the cheese isn't the one that's going to melt. We're going to heat up the casserole and then we're going to put in the gata or the coconut milk. It's three cups worth of coconut milk. Um, and usually, pinipiga ko siya by myself, but it's in my other videos already, so I don't want to show you guys anymore. You guys can just check out my other videos so that you guys can see how to squeeze out your own coconut milk if hindi pa nakapiga yung sa inyo. Next is the evaporated milk, and then also the condensed milk. And we are putting in the sugar. This one has one and a half cups worth of sugar. And then this is the sweet corn, one can. And we are just gonna mix everything. And then we are adding the water as well, just a bit. This one is two cups worth, pero hindi natin ilalagay lahat. And then the remaining water that we have, we're gonna use it for the cornstarch later. We're just gonna keep stirring this. So while we're waiting for this to boil, we are going to mix the water and cornstarch. So I have 200 grams worth of cornstarch. And then I have water. Ito yung remaining water from a while ago na we mixed there. So, I mix ko lang siya para matunaw muna yung cornstarch. And this is what we're gonna use to let this get thicker. Oh, yung dyan tigas niya. Ganyan lang. Okay, you guys. Mabilis siya tumigas, so you just gotta keep staring it. Pero, at the big said, this is normal. Hmm? Ayan, medyo ano na. So you guys, this is how it looks like. Can you see it? Hindi na siya matigas. Okay, so now that the mixture is boiling already, we are gonna slowly pour in the cornstarch that's been melted in water. Keep stirring lang. And now it's getting thicker. Oh my gosh. And it's getting hard to steer. So guys, once you think that it's evenly mixed already and parang nahalo mo na kagad yung cornstarch and everything and it's smooth, then pwede mo na siyang ilipat sa container. We're using this one. It's kind of flat. It's a glass container. Tapos, ipapour ko na siya.
We have poured the Maha Blanca into the glass containers. We made two. Yung isang medyo malaki and then the other one's like a smaller square one. But it's a lot and we're just waiting for it to cool down because it's super hot right now. And then when it um, cools down, na, pwede na siyang lagyan ng cheese sa top. And that's basically how you do it. It's super easy, you guys. But let's wait till it cools down muna. Okay, so now that the Maha Blanca is cool enough, we have some cheese and we are going to grate it and put it on top. We got a slice right here. We are gonna try it out. I really love the corn because of the texture that it gives. It's so good, super creamy. And I also like the cheese because it gives a bit of like saltiness or like contrast to the sweetness of the coconut. It's really good, you guys. Super easy to make and super perfect for merienda. And the last few days, because it's the last thing that you do, so you, you guys can just put it in the fridge and have it for Miranda again the next day. We are gonna start with dinner already. I'm gonna make dinner, which is carbonara. Guys, favorite, favorite, favorite pasta ko yun. Like, I love carbonara. Usually, basta white sauce. I really like it. So, Ate Vic, who always makes it for us, is gonna teach me how to make it. So, at least, diba, para naman I know how to cook it myself since it's my favorite pasta. Actually, she taught me na at the start of this lockdown. We made it once, pero... I'll vlog it today so that you guys can see. It's pretty simple as well, and it's really, really, really good. So I'm super excited to show you guys. And yeah, um, I haven't been wearing makeup in like my quarantine videos just because I've been so lazy to like fix up and everything. But I'm thinking of like doing a get ready with me video soon just for like staying at home because I haven't put on makeup in like weeks now. So. Yun lang, um, we're gonna make carbonara. Okay, so these are the ingredients for our carbonara. We have garlic, we have onions, butter, and then we have mushrooms, we have olive oil, we have parmesan cheese. Depends on you guys, how much you guys would want. And then we have bacon, and also this one, which is a mixture of cooking cream and also Nestle cream. So probably like two packs of Nestle cream and maybe a half, uh, one and a half pack of the cooking cream. We are lightly frying the bacon first. So we heated up the pan already. Okay, so next up, we are slicing the bacon, which is gonna be into like small pieces like these, because we're gonna mix this into the pasta later. Next up, we are putting the butter and then also the olive oil. And then we are putting in the onions first. I 
bakit siya first? Kasi mas matagal siya maluto. Ano kasi pag kung garlic unahin mo, pag nasunod yung pipe? Mm. Pag maluto ka ng pasta, unahin mo yung onion. For how long pa siya isi-stare? Maging medyo brown? Mm -hmm. Next up is the garlic. Tapos, I'll wait till it gets brown bit. Next up, we are putting the mushroom now that our garlic is brown already. These are my favorite parts of the pasta. I super duper love mushrooms. After that, we are pouring in the cream. little bit and then when it's done just turn off the stove hmm. okay so now that the water is boiling we are add this is for the pasta by the way um, we boil the water and then we are adding in some oil and also some salt to give the pasta some flavor this much and then the oil so that it doesn't stick together or clump together Okay, so we have our pasta right here, and we already put the sauce, also um, some Parmesan cheese on top. And what I like to do also, I sometimes add truffle oil to it. If you guys have truffle oil, it instantly becomes like a truffle pasta as well. So it's super good. I like putting that. But um, you guys can just mix it on your own pasta because sometimes like um, sila at the they don't like truffle. So um, you guys can put just how much you want na lang. But I'm so excited to eat this, guys. Ito yung favorite favorite pasta ko na ginagawa ni Ate Vic. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it is so good. I really love this. Let me know if you guys try it as well at home. Or if you guys like white pasta. This is so good. Anyways, that is it for today's video. I cooked um, merienda and dinner for my family again. I hope you guys enjoy these types of videos. At least you guys can learn something while we're doing, uh, while we're all in lockdown. And yeah, let me know if you guys make this at home as well. Tag me on Instagram. I'd be happy to see that. 
I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to hit the like button, click subscribe if you haven't yet, and click on that bell notification button so that you guys get notified every time I post a new video. I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you for watching us.